During yesterday's post-cabinet media briefing, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley addressed the matter of the Marriott Hotel being built at Rocky Point in Tobago. Dr. Rowley referenced St. Vincent and the Grenadines Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez, who stated that, the, that St. Vincent got the Sandals Resort originally intended for Tobago. Dr. Rowley then addressed those against a hotel construction at Rocky Point. I dare say well-financed idlers who spend their day telling you that because their parents were good enough to send them to the best school, I don't know what their qualification is now, and that they don't have to worry about and that the next meal because their trust fund is good, and them spend the time surfing. And if the hotel is built at Rocky Point, it will affect the waves in the sea so they wouldn't enjoy the surfing, and they go and smoke a marijuana there and, med and meditate to your God. He said those people chased sandals out of Tobago. He declared that as Prime Minister, he would, quote, move heaven and earth to ensure the construction of this hotel. Because there are Tobagonians who have no trust fund, right? And who are waiting for a meal. There are farmers waiting for a market. And the same thing that is happening in St. Vincent, we are offering that to the people of Tobago as long as I am Prime Minister for, what, for one more day. The Prime Minister stated that he would support the hotel's efforts to give Tobago more rooms and airlifts. Tobago needs a better airport. Tobago needs a better economy. What Tobago does not need is more morning work. Where it's young people get up and work for half an hour, cut some grass and paint some stones, and people telling them that we like to go and surf. He said he couldn't figure out what a hotel 80 feet above sea level and on land had to do with waves breaking for surfers. 